It's hard breakfast with Jamie Thickson and Amanda Holt. No, it's a tough time for teachers mm. at the moment, uh, mm. juggling lessons and homeschooling, uh, and we don't really get a chance to say thank you. Uh, that hasn't stopped Charlotte Blakey and her kids who come up with an ingenious way of thanking the teachers. Uh, Charlie joins us now. Morning, Charlie. Good morning. Are you all right? Good morning. Yeah, we're all good. How are you handling everything? Yeah, good, thank you. So, first of all, uh, whereabouts do the, where do your kids go to school? They go to Sibsey Free Primary in Sibsey in Lincolnshire. Okay, uh, and tell us a little bit more about uh, the idea and how you came up with it. We just wanted to give something back to the teachers and wanted to raise the spirits, really. Um, it came about the time when the schools were told within the next 12 hours they're going to move on to remote learning. Um, so we thought, well, what can we do to to jam up a little bit. Um, so we came up with the idea of um, getting pictures made from the children and the um, parents of the school, and we're going to hang them along the fence so when the teachers arrived on Monday morning, um, they were greeted from a lot of thank you messages from the pupils of the school. Which is just absolutely gorgeous, and it was a complete secret. They had no idea, apart from an insider that did logistics. So yes, right. it was a secret mission. <laughs> Um, initially we started it on social media um, messaging the parents of the school but then we thought some parents aren't on social media so we need an insider um, so we contacted Mrs Felipe's who's admin at the school and said we need your help <laughs> so she sent out a little private um, parent mail but made sure she didn't put in the teachers that have the pupils at the school as well um, and then the pictures were posted through a couple of the committee's doors we laminated it and popped it up in the dark it's on just, Sunday it's night. fantastic. And joining us as well this morning is Graham, who is the head teacher, and lovely Bella, who is a student who drew one of the pictures. Good morning, Graham. So, uh, me too. Hi. How, so tell me how you felt on that Monday when you drove up to the school. Well, to be honest, I, um, I got a text message from one of the teachers, and I read it. It said, uh, you're going to cry when you see the gate. And I thought, as the weather vandalised, I, oh. <laughs> I had to come back with it. And uh, then I read the rest of the message, which which told me a little bit of the secret. So I got in, and I thought I had a really good idea of what was going on in my school, but it's made me think of installing CCTV. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, you know, it was at a time, as, as Charlie's just said, that the world was feeling a little bit bleak, and it was mm. just the boost that everybody needed. We had people crying. It Aww. just gave everybody that adrenaline rush that they needed for, to carry on for the week. Absolutely. You know, yeah, we've got 22% uh, of our kids have parents that work at the NHS hospital just up the road. And so we've mm. got a lot of children at the school with key workers. So it was just great to keep people going. Absolutely. And Bella, you're one of the students at the school. First of all, what is uh, your headmaster like as a headmaster? Um, he's really nice. Oh, that's good. You're sat right next to him, <laughs> safely next to him. <laughs> um, and how excited were you? to be part of this big secret? I was really excited because in lockdown there's not really much to do, mm. so it's just been really fun to get you busy. Absolutely. What did you draw? What was one of your posters? Um, I did, um, so my paper was in the shape of a cape, and I wrote on it, not all superheroes wear capes and there was flowers. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. Such a lovely idea. And uh, Bella, what would you say to, because obviously there'll be a lot of teachers listening uh, and it's tough for them right now, mm. what would you like to say from the kids uh, to their teachers, what would you, what message would you like to give the teachers? Um, that thank you for everything you're doing in lockdown and keeping us safe and making us all feel like one big family. Perfect. Oh, what a lovely message. That put brilliant. a spring in the step of teachers. Graham, you must be ever so proud of your pupils. It, you know what, it's, uh, we've tried to keep positive right back since March and I think the community that we've got is, is a very special place and since we were on the TV a few weeks ago we've had people that phoned up and said we were part of the PTA in 1981 and we'd like to donate something to the school and it's just, we've just kept going and every time that you think we've got to look at the logistics and the negative side and what's going on in the news we've just tried to find a way to keep positive because actually that's what everybody needs at the minute. I couldn't agree more. Well, it's a lovely story. Well done, Charlotte, for sorting it all out, for Bella for being part of it, and for you, Mr Headmaster, for running such a gorgeous school. It sounds fantastic. Thanks, guys.